We will remember them. Winchester Cathedral held its Remembrance Day service last Sunday to pay tribute to those who sacrificed their lives for conflict. Before the two minute silence there was a commemorative service, including hymns, prayers and a choir. This is a really important day in the life of the city, uh, Remembrance Sunday, not just remembering the two great wars, but also all wars and conflicts since, and many, many people were shedding tears, younger people too today, so it really affects the community. The armed forces have obviously given uh, sacrifice through injury, illness, or ultimate sacrifice of their life. Obviously it's a nice um, memorial for them. This Remembrance Sunday is the first in over 70 years to be held under a male monarch, as King Charles laid a wreath at London's Cenotaph. For me, there's, there's no different whether it's somebody who, went, uh, who died in the Second World War or if somebody who dies in Iraq, Afghanistan. The reasons of duty and service to God, King and, King and country, green as it was uh, when those conflicts were happening. This year's Remembrance also focuses on those who fought in recent conflicts in Ukraine. I think you know we it's, you know, we constantly uh, remember for that, but you know today you know, and uh, and Friday clearly marks you know that that opportunity to to reflect on you know past conflicts, you know be it the Great or Second World War or um, recent conflicts or what's currently happening uh, in Ukraine at the moment. Tom Hooker, Winchester News Online.